Betelgeuse, located in the constellation Orion, is one of the most recognizable stars in the sky. Its vibrant red hue and prominent position have made it a favorite for stargazers and astronomers alike. But what makes Betelgeuse truly intriguing is his mysterious behavior. Astronomers call it a variable star because it pulses, expanding, and contracting in size over time. This pulsation causes the star's brightness to fluctuate, sometimes making it one of the brightest stars in the sky, and at other times dimming significantly. Betelgeuse is a true giant, with a diameter more than a thousand times larger than that of our sun. If we placed it in the center of our solar system, it would engulf the inner planets, including Earth, and reach Jupiter. Its immense size and mass make it a red supergiant star that is approaching the end of its life. Yes, this gigantic star is dying, but that's not what intrigues us, since stars die all the time. What has kept astronomers guessing is the dimming of Betelgeuse. In late 2019 and early 2020, the star experienced an unprecedented dimming event, losing a significant portion of its brightness. This generated speculation and curiosity among scientists around the world. Several theories emerged to explain Betelgeuse's dimming, but one possibility stood out and was later confirmed by the Hubble Space Telescope. Based on Hubble data, scientists discovered that the star had ejected a huge cloud of dust that partially obscured its light from our perspective. However, the star has not dimmed again since February 2020 and has lost its usual cycle. What we know is that as the star recovered from the ejection of a large amount of its interior in late 2019, in an event that became known as the Great Dimming, its surface is now moving like jelly in a dish and has lost the natural 400-day rhythm, which has been present for at least two centuries. Betelgeuse continues to behave very strangely in looking into the future, he will eventually reach the end of his life and explode in a bright supernova. However, no one knows for sure when that will happen, except for a team of scientists. According to them, the explosion could be happening right now as you watch this, or very close in the future. If astronomers had to guess the next star near us that could go supernova in the Milky Way, their bets might go to Betelgeuse, the bright red supergiant star that marks the shoulder of Orion. It is near the end of its life and is located less than 1,000 light years from Earth. But how close is it to becoming a supernova and will we be here to witness it? Astronomers generally suggest it could explode in the next 100,000 years, which is early in cosmic terms but not early in human terms, which is a bit disappointing. However, our calculations could have been wrong and the spectacle could unfold before our eyes at any moment. A new study by Hideyuki Seo and his colleagues at Tohoku University in Japan claims that the star could be further along in its evolution and much closer to exploding than we thought. But how do they affirm this? They are the pulsations of the star. You see, Betelgeuse is unstable, breathing regularly with overlapping overtones. Following its brightness over the last century, astronomers have observed changes in periods of 2,200 days, 420 days, 230 days, and 185 days. Astronomers typically consider the 420-day cycle to be the main in-out pulse, with the shorter cycles as overtones. The period of 2,200 days or six years is generally not considered part of these pulsations and is instead called the secondary period, a feature of unknown origin common in one-third of supergiant stars. If the 420-day period is the main one, then Betelgeuse would be 800 to 900 times the size of our sun, lined up one after the other. If placed in the solar system, it would almost reach the orbit of Jupiter. However, Seo and his colleagues believe this could be an underestimate. If the 2200-day cycle is the main one and all the others are overtones, then the star would be even more massive, spanning 1,200 times the size of our sun, even wider than Jupiter's orbit. Based on its larger size, the star would be even further along in its life cycle. Stars like Betelgeuse lie fast and large. Like the sun, they begin to shine by fusing hydrogen into helium in their cores, 
but quickly transition to fusing helium into carbon. The carbon then burns to form other heavier elements around the core, while lighter elements burn in layers, causing the star to expand outward like a balloon of hot plasma. SEO and his colleagues use computer simulations to observe how stars evolve from birth to old age, and then calculate the pulsations they should observe at each stage. They discover that the four pulsations, from the 2200-day cycle to the 185-day cycle, can be explained by a breathing star in the late stages of carbon burning. After carbon is depleted in the core, a core collapse leading to a supernova explosion is expected within a few thousand years, the researchers write. But when will the carbon run out? It's hard to say because the pulse periods don't change much at this late stage. It is not possible to estimate exactly how much carbon remains in the core at present, says a CEO. We just guess that the time to carbon depletion is probably less than a few hundred years. So to put a few things into perspective, the SEO group isn't saying Betelgeuse will explode tomorrow or even in the next decade. Researchers claim that Betelgeuse would explode in a thousand years instead of 10,000 or 100,000. The 2,200-day pulsation, if radial, also creates other problems. Spectroscopic measurements show that the star's surface is expanding and contracting at about 1.5 kilometers per second. If the star is breathing at this rate over a period of 2,200 days, its total diameter would change 180 times the size of the sun in each cycle. Even for astronomers, that's a lot. Additionally, the 2,200-day pulsation would also affect the pulsation of the overtones. For example, the 400-day cycle would not always be 400 days. When the star expands to its full size, this overtone would lengthen and vice versa when the star contracts. These changes would be expected to repeat systematically in each 2,200-day cycle, but no evidence of that is seen in Betelgeuse's long-term light curve, which varies more randomly around the typical 400-day cycle. Now, for those unfamiliar, when a star runs out of hydrogen, the helium begins to burn into carbon, causing the star to expand. As all the fuel is used up and the remaining elements fail to generate fuel under their own weight, the core collapses to form a solid neutron star, and the surrounding gas flow rebounds to form a supernova. Betelgeuse is a red superstar with an age of at least 8 million years. It is believed to be in the final stages of its life cycle, having exhausted the hydrogen in its core. So, will we get to witness the Betelgeuse explosion? If we could live another thousand years, then yes, it would be an amazing sight, right? I hope you liked our video. I invite you to subscribe and activate the bell to find out about each new video. Until next time. Summary A supernova explosion will invade the night sky around the world. If astronomers had to guess the next nearby star to go supernova in the Milky Way, they would bet on Betelgeuse. The bright red supergiant star that marks the shoulder of Orion is nearing the end of its life and is less than 1,000 light years from Earth. But is it about to go supernova? Will we be around to see it?